Hey guys, welcome to Nine Link. This is your host Alex. Been a, been a couple, about a couple months. I posted the last video. Um, just let you know, uh, the Texas weather is really nice. Um, down here right now is January uh, 11th today, and it's weather. It's the lowest around like 36 degrees, and the high could get up to 70 and 80 ish. So I decided to put my plants outside a lot earlier than um, I used to be in Kansas. Uh, in Kansas, I remember I took it out, took the plants out usually around uh april end of april or early may so that shows you a uh you know temperature difference between the two states uh of course uh, i do know that um there are sometimes in texas in january or february usually sometimes sometimes not all the time uh sometimes we'll get below like you know 20 degrees then i'll probably take these guys in um just a few days i mean just one day or two days so that's why the um i get them out right now so get some good uh lights and you know basically outside time so I want to point out something really uh, interesting today so if you uh, look at these leaves they are actually grown inside the uh, house before I brought it out so I want to show you something it's like if you look at this leaf you can see right away I don't know if you can see it it's very um, if you look at it in the dark area in the dark room it's just green but if you look at outside with the sun shining through it it's look almost transparent so it's not as green as dark as the um, the uh, regular leaves that were you know grown outside. Let me find a leaf that were used to grown outside from last season. If if, if this plant has any, uh, let me see. Maybe this this one maybe. Um, if you can look at this one, there's no light shining through it. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that um, these leaves in the intense sunlight doesn't have enough plant. Uh, what, what's that name? Uh, Coroplast, I think is that's the name inside so in the intense heat or intense light these leaves will get scorched basically will turn white get burned uh, burned out and i think these guys are already experiencing that symptom over here if you can see it right there it's kind of white uh, let me see if i can get closer to it yeah, it's white on the back already it's being scorched on the back um, it's basically when you have a plant grown in indoor and when you bring bring it outside uh, just don't feel you know bad about seeing plants leaves getting turned white, getting burnt uh, by the lights, intense light outside. What happened is that the plant eventually will adapt and put out more leaves, and those leaves will be uh, more adequate for the uh, outside outdoor environment. So what I did to this uh, night blooming jasmine, uh, I pruned out all the uh, dead branches. At the same time, I cut off a lot of uh, basically. Uh, overgrown branches as well like uh, certain branches if they crisscross into another branch I cut those off to prevent future uh, problem with two branches forcing forcing on each other so basically tidy up the plants for uh, new growth uh, new year so a uh, new season basically so what I'm gonna do on this one you can probably see it's still pretty leggy up here shooting up I'm purposely leaving it at that let those branches grow a little older so what I'm gonna do is that um this plant is not suitable for te Texas weather. I'm gonna try something uh, different. I'm gonna experience a little, uh, what we call cold, uh, hardy training. So what I'm gonna do is let those branches get older and cut them off and propagate on the side of my uh, patio, uh, porch here. So uh, uh, let them grow and uh, let's see how, how they do in, within a year. Um, and the next, uh, well, actually this year's winter, uh, 2023 uh, around December see if they will survive the cold around this area if it if it does if they made it past the uh, this year that means they'll be able to um, grow further and uh, make a little hedge over here if they don't uh, which I have a about 60% or maybe 70% chance they might not make it that means it's a failed experiment uh, but if they somehow all these propagation made it through then um, basically if this um, plant will be trained uh, more cold than it, the same species of same you know, plants. Basically, if you buy the same exact plant, my plants will have a lot more cold resistant than the other plants. But anyway, that those are some scientific you know, little experiments I put on the side. But anyway, just wanna show you guys a little update and also regarding about my symbionts, I put it on the front too, the back. Um, this house is dir uh, face dir facing direction is actually the same as my uh, Kansas house. So the back patio is the word intense light 
uh, very hot area is. So those will be for like, uh, you know, neem trees and stuff in the back. <coughs> and jasmine as well, excuse me. Oh, by the way, allergy sucks down here. Um, okay, anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Take care of you.